Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're taking you on a pre-final walkthrough of a beautiful property that we had under contract. This is a new build in Brookwood Estates in Washington, Utah. And this is a pre-final walkthrough. Our final walkthrough will be on Tuesday with the builder, but our clients are super excited to see the progress in this property. So we're taking you on this quick tour prior to the final builder walkthrough. So you can take a peek at what this home is going to look like when it's finished. It is almost finished, but <clears throat> and I apologize for no suit and tie today. We just got out of the gym and we had to get this video out. Hey. So the landscaping is just about finished. It's got some beautiful black lava rock and some gravel. Can you see over that? Looks like the side yard will have some um, wrought iron fence right here that hasn't been finished yet. Beautiful stucco color on this house. Mm -hmm. Last time we're out here, the stucco was not painted yet. Looks like the rock isn't complete as of right now. So the rock will go right around the garage. Exterior videos are tough to do right now because it is, what is it, like 40, 42 degrees right now, maybe? It's a little, a little chilly. 28. So, some of the exterior light fixtures are in here. Um, the carpets are in. These are the exterior light fixtures that will go on either side of the garage. Oh wow, this bathroom is fully finished. Take a look at this. Beautiful tile combination. I really like the tile above this bathtub. Let's see. And a good sized closet. Let me get out of your way. Yeah, I think a lot of these final touches will be completed hopefully by Tuesday. Our final walkthrough with the general is on Tuesday. This powder bath. I really like all the final color selections in this home. Mm -hmm. This closet right across. Really good size. Nice. It's incredible to see these things come together. And of course, all of the final touch ups. Um, so when we come over on Tuesday, we'll go through and we will do a final blue tape inspection. We're actually starting to see some blue tape here already. Um, and typically, by the time Michon is done, if you guys have seen any of our other videos, uh, you'll know that there will be probably more blue tape. Looks like, oh, this is just paint. Look at these views. This home is incredible. So these railings that are in here will probably go around this deck outside. Mm -hmm. And if you look out, you'll see that there are the posts. The posts right there. And I know that we originally agreed on having um, at least a six foot uh, perimeter fence. So we may have to chat with the builder to see what's going on. I think they're going to put um, more wrought iron on the yeah. tops of that. And then it's at least going to match the six foot height. So it's definitely so going to be The current fence that. scenario is no match for Watson's ability to jump, I'm sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like they did epoxy coating on this exterior deck. Yeah, definitely don't step um, on that. Look how awesome it looks though. Wow, so smooth. 
little teeny little bubbles. What do you guys think about Michonne's filming skills? I feel like she's quickly becoming a full-time videographer for this channel. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Oh my gosh, no <laughs> don't. The center island looks really awesome. And uh, I think we saw this before, but this, this pantry kind of goes in here a ways. I love, close it. I love the hidden pantries. Okay, bye. Can you open it from in there? With it um, shut? I guess I should have tested that Is first, there not huh? a handle in there? <laughs> <laughs> Is there not? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there will be. As of right now, <laughs> there's not. It has these little rollers that get the door to close softly. Let's see. Here, if you go in there, you could demo that from the inside. Oh. See these little rollers, they click into spot. Oh yeah. And it just looks totally, totally tucked away from the exterior. There's a huge pantry. Oh wait, there's a tiny gapping. You can, they need to caulk that or something. Look yeah, at that. I mean, we're, we're nowhere near yeah. close to being complete. Um, Great uh, profile series General Electric appliances in That's this home. The cute, I love the backsplash. It ties in perfectly. Yeah, the herringbone uh -huh. pattern on. Looks like the tiles are actually like larger tiles that have the herringbone pattern. But even the color, I love them. I love it. Oh, I love it. Master bedroom also has access to this huge deck. There's more blue tape that's starting out here. That tub is gigantic. And these cabinets are still missing some doors. So guys, as we came here, the guys are actively working on this house. So I think a lot will be done in the next couple of days. Usually a lot of these projects get finalized just a day or two from the final walkthrough. Take a look at the size of this closet. It is massive. It is. It's got three windows up top for some natural light. And this tub is huge. The shower turned out really good too. Yeah, this time filming it, we actually have lights. Yeah. Take a look at that shower. The tile work looks really nice. I'm a huge fan of the small squares. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out the rest of the house. I love how open this living room feels. Oh, and I believe the garage floors I think those were just done too. Yes. Yeah, so just definitely. got epoxied, hence the reason why this is blocked off. I'm just gonna take a peek just to show you guys. Oh, that is beautiful. Take a look at that. It makes such a huge difference. Let me lock this door so that nobody walks out of there. Laundry room is just about finished. Should we go downstairs? Mm -hmm. This modern looking railing looks really nice, especially because you're gonna have like almost identical railing on your exterior deck. So I think that will look really good together. This house has so much room. Downstairs bedroom with an ensuite bath. This bedroom has a way of egress with, and usually, so this is a really nice touch. They painted um, that little ladder that mm -hmm. leads out of here. Usually most builders will leave that ladder like unfinished. Yeah. And it, quickly turns into something rusty that looks like you're in a prison cell. <laughs> but that looks really nice. I'm so glad that they painted it. Does. 
This is the bathroom with the tucked away closet. Love the tile in here. This tile looks really cool. I love when builders do like all the bathrooms just slightly different. Slightly different, but still flowing with the same theme. Yeah. Yeah, again, smaller, smaller rectangle tile um, just outside of this uh, shower insert. Mm hmm. Closet. And that closet is tucked away behind the counter. Around these lights. There's a massive closet under the stairs for more storage room. This could become Watson's office. Oh, it keeps going. Nice. <laughs> The utility room has a Bryant furnace and I want to say an 80 gallon water heater. And you have your bypass for the water softener. And per code, um, it has a sump pump. Anything that's below grade has to have a sump pump in St. George. Look at the size of this room. It's like the size of the living room. This is massive. Your second living room with a second kitchen. These cabinets came together nicely. And this area is on its own uh, thermostat, so it's your second climate zone. You have room for a full-size fridge and a microwave down here. Some beautiful floating shelves. And this side has a daylight basement because the grade drops substantially. So this window, it's actually a full size window. It doesn't have the dungeon feel. Another full bath. Considering that this is pre-final walkthrough, I'm actually not seeing too many flaws in this home. I think they did a, a really nice job. And this bedroom has a view out in the backyard. It actually is a pretty good view. Yeah, I don't know what is going to happen with that wrought iron because those posts currently definitely do not look tall enough. I will address that with the builder on Tuesday and we'll We'll make sure that we're all on the same page. This room also has a large closet. Nice. Should we go check out the backyard? Mm-hmm. Love all the can lights. Super bright down here. I love the action on this sliding door feel like it's a more premium sliding door. Normally, um, I'm not a super huge fan of the sliders because they tend to, you know, tend to start having issues relatively early on, but this slides really well. It is chilly today. Can you see? <laughs> wow, this AstroTurf came together beautifully. Watson's going to have the best backyard ever. Ah, he's going to love it. Look at this. Take a look at uh, Pine Valley Mountain. It finally got cold enough for the mountain to have a slight dusting of snow. Uh -huh. So typically, and it'll warm up next week, but typically here you see some snow in the mountains where it belongs while enjoying comfortable 60s. And this side of the yard will have the finished block wall. They're still working on continuing this block wall. And it looks like they will have to finish some block wall up on top so nobody falls into your backyard. And how do we do on the gate? Is the gate installed yet? I think there's just, just a couple of pieces that still need to be finished, but we have, you know, 
pretty much all of next week to get these things buttoned up. Some beautiful desert plants, a riverbed. Oh, I don't know about Watson and those little tiny cactuses. Yeah, and we're still missing a gate on this side, so there's, there's a few final touches. I think he'll be okay. Normally dogs figure this out early on. Let's go lock it up. I will give you guys a couple of angles from our drone just to give you a better picture because it's kind of hard to see the exterior from the capture of this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them below or just reach out to us directly as I struggle with this door. Nope, no struggle. <laughs>